Derek, Derek, real quick. How's it going? <laughs> good, to, good to see you here in New York, I'm sure. You gotta fly back to Dallas here soon. Good to see you. Hey, man, you know, we just talked about, you know, this Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford, just all the talk about it right now. But let me just switch the page and go back a little bit. Uh, Ryan Garcia is no part of your camp. Uh, how did the opportunity or, you know, working together now, how's that been? Just that, you know, you've had one or two days working together at the gym. You know, what did y'all talk about? What did he tell you? And what improvements can you see in him as he has a professional can he still improve and will he improve, do you believe? Yeah, I mean, I think that, man, it's all about improvement. It's all about enlightenment. I believe that what we worked on and what I showed him mm -hmm. lets him know that there's something to come, something great mm -hmm. to come. So he's a great worker, man. He's really focused and he's really engaged. I talked to him like um, maybe like a week and a half ago because he's, he's on vacation right now. So I talked to him. So we'll get back get back to the gym in like a week or so. I believe... Um, at this at this point as a career, uh, what what changes can he make in his arsenal per se? Because you know in, in the in the Javante Davis fight, we, we did see him going, coming forward throwing some great uh, good combinations. But do you believe you know what can you change at this point of his career? Well, you can always change. I mean, you think about Josh was 33, he's 25, mm -hmm. he's 24, and AJ was able to change, so there's no different than him. Mm -hmm. Everybody can change. And really, the thing about it that makes it easier is the younger they are, you know, the more experienced they are, the, the better they can become. Uh, you know, he's been keep on, uh, he wants the big fights and, you know, we can commend him because he wants the big fight, you know, because of him and, and, and Teofimo recently, you know, we've had these big fights come up. Uh, do you believe a fight with Rolly Romero is what he wants to exercise immediately or do you believe maybe like one or two uh, fights together would build up that chemistry just like how you did with, with, with Joshua, yeah, he yeah. jumped into, per se, I, a tune-up fight, would right. he need that? I don't know, I mean, I don't know if you need a tune-up fight with, with Rolly. I mean, you know, um, Rolly, because who? Who can you even get to help you? But at the same time, you know, um, you may not need a tune up fight for that. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> I hope he sees that too. Yeah. You know, he says some stuff about me and Derek, Ryan. Derek, you know, uh, Derek, when, you first, when we first, you know, we started becoming more in the scene and people were you know, knowing about Derek James, if you remember way, uh, probably like five, six years ago, you sat down with us in a podcast in Dallas and I told you, how are you managed, you know, with the Charlo and Spence at that moment? And you told me, you know, I've you know, picked the times and having our gym our own. I specifically remember you saying, I don't, I'm, I'm picky who comes to the door because mm -hmm. once that somebody opens the door, my eye focuses over there and I'm already losing focus with Arrow or, or, or Charlo. How have you managed to have, you know, uh, uh, the times with each fight you had now because we've got high caliber, you know, you got Joshua, you got now Ryan, Charlo, Spence, and Frank Martin. Everybody gets those two hours, man. Those two hours to come in, and that's what it is. It's about giving them a specific time, a specific time of day. Sometimes they do run across each other, but or they may come in just to watch some boxing, watch some sparring. But yeah, it's like um, it's keeping it maintained and then letting it not get out of control. Last question for me, Derek. Uh, uh, Errol Spence has, you know, exercise as well. Potentially, you know, people have said a, a fight versus Canelo at the at and Stadium, you know, right. a catch weight. Is right. that something that would interest you down the line once, you know, this fight with Crawford uh, is complete? Yeah, without a doubt, man. I mean, that's a fight like that, something you always want to see. I mean, two great fighters, um, and it's a big fight. It's a great fight, and I'm looking forward to it. How's Ryan? How's Ryan gonna adapt to his Texas, to the Texas heat? Because you know, it's already three, three digits now, right? And I know I told him already. He was yeah. like. I'm, I can say, I said, yeah, you, you say that now. But no, it's, no, it's but listen, I think, that, to be honest, he'll be able to adjust it because it's not about Ryan, it's about AJ adjusting to it. If he can adjust to it, Ryan will be okay. Thank you, Derek. Thank you for speaking yeah. with Fight Hub. Thank you so much. You, Good to see you again. Congratulations on your award for Coach of the Year. You know, how excited are you for this fight of this magnitude? I mean, I'm very excited. I can't, you mean, something that's been building, everybody's been talking about it, asking why this, why that, why this, but now it's here. You know, nothing to say about it. Let's go. Let's get it going. I mean, I'm ready to get it going. Ready to get it cracking. I'm ready. You know, it's almost like you're tired of talking about it. Right now, Arrow hasn't fought in over a year. You think that that ring rust could affect his, his abilities a little bit, or he should be ready to go? I mean, you know, ring rust. I mean, he's been in the gym though. Mm -hmm. Ring rust generally comes when you have a guy who hasn't been in the gym and mm -hmm. giving up a ticket time. But we've already been working. Right. Uh, I, you just recently won Trainer of the Year, mm -hmm. and congratulations on that. Who are other, some of the other trainers you respect in the game? Well, I mean, I like Nacho Berestein a lot. He's probably like number one for me. I mean, there's a lot of fighters. I mean, Calvin for I me. Mean, I like a lot of fighters. I mean, with trainers. I mean, I mean Eddie Fuss is a great trainer. I mean, there's so many other fight trainers in the game. Georgie Benton. I mean, there's a lot of them. So it's like um, I had a good trainer in Dallas, Taylor August. 
He's like, you know, it's a lot of different guys inspired. Why not Chobert Singh? Just curious, just because like, he's curiosity. Because very technical and he's teach fundamentals. Their game plan happens. Yeah, so. right, yeah. Derek, you always been respectful. You always tell your fighters to be respectful. It seems like this fight with um, Crawford might get a little bit more trash talking than Errol and you. You are um, normally right, used to. Right. That little added motivation, you know, you don't gotta go look right. for it now. It just it's right. there for you guys to go out there and get the work. It's him, man. It's him. You know what I mean? It's like this is a guy who, if you think about it, your whole career, whatever, mid career, a guy can beat you. And both of them have been told the same thing. So you gotta understand this is the opportunity for them to really prove who they really are as fighters. So it's really up to, they really want to fight each other. So that's the thing about it. And now this is the opportunity they have to prove that they are the best in boxing and better really pound for pound. I mean, and all the other things above. So it's like, that's what it's about. what so, you so make of the- uh, has been rumored for like a while. Are, are you developing the game plan now or, or you've had this game plan for like a two, three years? I mean, it could, it's not, man. Cause you know, I mean, I think that as a fighter, he may evolve. But for me, it's like, I have to be able to evolve with day by day, week by week. It depends on how I keep seeing it and how I keep changing and keep evolving. I mean, it may, it, I may have something today, but it has to keep evolving and keep going until there's something more complete. Opposed to, these are pieces and bits to make it happen. And that's what it's all about. Derek, speaking about depth and adaption, um, Crawford switches a lot. How can you prepare for his style without giving too much away? I mean, what I'll say about switching is that Whoever changes when something works. Okay. <laughs> so, I mean, if it's working, you're not changing from it. And that's the key element. I mean, we're just going to make sure you keep switching and changing. Now, Coach Derek, <laughs> you talk about, you know, being a trainer is like a third eye in the ring. And, yeah. you know, in those couple of instances, like with the Spence Mills fight or the Charlo Cassandra rematch, you've seen where Spence and Charlo made the adjustments. So, being a third eye in the ring, like, how important is it to kind of see what's going on and making those adjustments round by round? I had to just be present, man. My, my focus is to be present and truly engaged within the fight to where I'm not like caught up in what's going on, but watching what he's doing. And my whole thing is to watch what he's doing, constantly keep watching, constantly keep yelling out, telling him, watch this, watch this, watch that, watch that. So I'm talking to him while the fight's going on, not only in the, between the rounds, so watch this, watch that, he's going to throw this, he's going to throw that. As you can see kind of how the stance, what he does, whatever, so yeah. yeah so